Hi there everyone. So I decided to look back at my upscaling videos and images video and I realized that it was a bit more complicated than I needed to be. And I also wasn't a fan of the fact that you needed to use a Gmail or Google Drive account. So I decided to make it a bit easier. So it essentially follows the same thing and installs the exact same stuff. The only changes here are I ended up using a different YAML file. Um, so, but you don't have to worry about that. And the only thing you'd have to change is change the upscaling method. So change the word SRMD to either real SR or waifu 2x. And then as well as the upscaling uh, coefficient or constant value here. So this determines how by how much it should upscale. So by default, uh, four, you can choose two, six, eight, whatever you want. And then when this step um, around this step here, you're asked to upload the files that you want to use directly to the workspace. And then all these files will be upscaled um, in a specific folder called video upscaling and saved in the output folder. And all of those files will then be downloaded automatically. So let's start by clicking the start button. Now, the advantage of this method is it's a lot easier. You don't have to worry about Gmail, Google Drive and uploading to that and choosing every file that you want to upscale can be long and tedious. The disadvantage is you can't specify your extension, the output extension. So if you upload a JPEG file and then upscale it, it will be saved uh, by default as a PNG file. So that will mean it's a, quite a bit larger um, than your typical JPEG file. Um, but yeah, so you're sacrificing a little bit of control there just to have things a bit easier. Now in a moment, you'll see a box that appears that tells you to choose the files you want to upload. And you're gonna click on that. Okay, so click on it and you choose the files that you want. I'm just gonna take these two random files. It doesn't matter if it's an image or a video. And you can see the uploading uh, process is starting. First one is finished and the second one is also finished. And now immediately after that, the interpol or the not interpolation, the upscaling method start and it shouldn't take too long. And once this is done, the downloading process should hopefully start automatically. Now, if for some reason the files don't start downloading automatically, you can still download it. Just click on the folder thing icon on the left side, click on video upscaling, click on output. You can either download the file separately by right clicking and saying download, or you can download the convenient zip file where all your files would have been placed in. So just right click, download, and once this wheel thing is finished turning, um, it will start the downloading process and we'll look at that after that. Okay, so the downloading process is about to begin. I'm just saving it and let's quickly unzip it just to make sure everything is fine. So we're right clicking on it and say, um, you can either say extract all or you can use 7-zip like I have available, but let's just say extract all and extract and let's go into it. And there we go. The collab output file and the other image. Now these are not great examples. You'll probably have much better images or videos that you're using. This was just a rough example. Anyways, I hope to have more videos like this down the line. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.